Red Hills Visitor Center on the west side of Tucson. There's two visitor center. It's because Tucson goes through the middle of, na of the national park. Tucson was here first. Yes, they officially designated the park on either side of Tucson. We came to the west side because it has the most concentration of saguaros. And if you're not familiar with the saguaro cactus, one, that's gonna change. Two, this is the quintessential saguaro cactus. We're gonna go in here and see what they got. We got a stamp. Uh, of course, and we're gonna get a stamp. Wow. Very appropriate for where we're at. This is our fifth part in five days. We did it. Yes! I got it on the line. It's not going through it. It's facing the right direction. I really don't know why any of that matters, but okay, <laughs> we do this every time. It matters. Okay. Looks great. Tara's joining us to stamp her book. I don't think I lined it up. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you did a pretty good job. Nice. Historical. So this is out the back side of the visitor center. And you see out there a veritable forest of saguaro cacti. The other thing to do is to get closer to them, but don't touch. What? <laughs> we are driving along and all of a sudden we see a sign. It's very sus. So we are here at the view trail and we're gonna go take a look at what views it has to offer. This is 0.8 miles, so it's just something to come check out and get amongst the saguaros. So at the start of this hike, this sign introduces you to what you're gonna see on the trail. We know about the prickly pears and we know about the saguaros, the big tall ones. And that big spiny plant there is an Ocotillo plant. He said, there's the height. And they go way up there. I grew up in Mesa, Arizona, and we had this huge cactus there, and we had a little bit of an incline going up to our, on our driveway. And I was six, and I thought, I can ride my brother's bike, I'll be just fine. And I'm riding up the slight incline, and I don't quite have enough to make it up the incline. I'm like teetering and I fall over into the middle of the cactus. So my mom finally comes out because she hears me crying and she picks me up out of the cactus. It took her and my sister over two hours to pick all of the spines out of me and they had to cut my favorite pants. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say uh, ever since then Heather has uh, been trying to replace those pants with some fancy new pants. <laughs> Cactus is proof that sometimes not all things go as planned. But hey, up at the top there, that first part of the cactus still thinks it's doing something special. I want you to, uh, I want you to count the cacti for me. I think there's more than 12. Maybe 15? More than a thousand? Yeah. Well, that's what you get when you round a lot. It's a nice desert. Okay, here's the thing. It okay. all looks the same. Oh boy. <laughs> there isn't like any real variation to what you're looking at. It's the same cactus over and over and over again. So it's like once you've walked 10 feet in, you've seen it. So you have to be into details to like it. Yes. You're, not into, not, de you're not into details. Yeah. Ah, I agree to a point. This viewpoint is different though. Yes, it is. I asked Taryn to count the number of saguaro cacti, and she said there's about 3,000. Yep. And she did it. From that view. From that view, by first approximating how much space 10, 10 would take up, and then she calculated how much space would be 100, and then she counted out until there must have been 30 of those. I don't know if she's right or wrong, but. For A for effort. A for effort. So we're doing the Signal Hill Trail. There's all kinds of things to be careful of, watch yeah. out for. It's a nice little walk. Basically just walk down that gully over to that hill where there's petroglyphs. You almost wonder why they didn't just put the parking lot right there where that picnic table is. Save us most of the walk. But hey, now we feel like we went on a hike. And this is only a 0.5 mile trail up to that hill right there. You can see some people up there. Um, but we get to go across this cool bridge.
Oh, we're being careful. Because <laughs> there's the enemy out there. <laughs> so we are looking at petroglyphs. What? Signal Hill is famous for. Yep. So over there on that rock, oh, you have yeah, a you, see that. you have a turtle shell, and uh, then there's some deer. Big circle means be careful for rattlesnakes. <laughs> Pretty sure he hates them. <laughs> you don't know that that's what... Will you please interpret these petroglyphs for me, Taryn? It's a deer crossing sign. Deer crossing sign. Okay. Thank you for your contribution. <laughs> Taryn's decided that that rock there with deer on it means deer crossing. This is the nature trail. And uh, you can get a sign. No, no sign. And it's going on 430. This is handicap accessible. Well, we are just rolling down this nature trail. Yes, this is point five, but we got Taryn out front blazing down the path. Yeah. She's like, come on, people. I hear there's tacos. No, Taryn doesn't like tacos. Nope. Hey, Taryn, what's for dinner? I sense that something somewhere was confused. Well, wow. and this used to be attached to that. And that you almost kicked with your shin. So that would have been exciting. This root fork has red highlights. Hmm. Ocotillo blood. Oh, now who's touching it? All right, that's it. <laughs> you're getting, even... you're getting, uh, oh, that's your nail. I thought you're getting juice out of it. I don't think I've touched it. Now everyone's trying to touch it. All this years, I don't think I've ever really touched it. That's because you had a solid. very solid. That's because you had adults around you who were saying, "Don't touch it. You're going to get poked." I'm waiting for one of you to get poked. It's called karma. It's going to happen. It's called precision. <laughs> precision. And look how it looks kind of, I don't know, wrinkled like it was a blow up thing. It's you deflated. Wrinkled like that, still be so solid. <laughs>